Hey everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be calibrating our front and rear ESA shocks on the uh, 2018 GS. Um, required is going to be obviously ESA. It's optional on some of your bikes. Most of you in the US have ESA. And when you uh, replace the shocks with new ones, in my case I have, with tractives in the front and the rear. Let's get the front shot here. You can probably barely see it because the uh, Denali sound bomb is in the way. Um, then your bike is going to basically forget the uh, upper and lower limits of your shocks. So right now they're in the lowest setting. You can't see any metal in there um, for the preload. You will need GS911, which is this thing right here. Um, the newer GS911 has the OBD dongle plug on it. The older model, you have to spend $20 for this little weird extra dongle that goes from the old school to the new school. Um, this is only the 2017 or newer, no, 20, maybe 2016 Euro 4 bikes basically um, have the OBD-11 here. So it's right behind there. Kind of easy to get out, you little screw the unplug and you kind of pull it out and you're good. Um, and I have one dongle, dongle from the bike to the 911 and another dongle from the 911. <laughs> to my MacBook. So there was an update. So we're doing the update and then we'll get back to the uh, GS911 calibration. All right, we're in. Let's go ahead and uh, hit the power button for our bike here. Okay. Uh, I do have this, by the way, hooked into the uh, battery tender to keep the uh, voltage up, which is just good. So we're going to go to look at the R-Series. GS Adventure LC. All right, so we're hitting this. Semi-active suspension, service functions, calibration. Oh, we need to uh, be on the center stand. One second. All right, we're back. We are on the center stand now. This is no weight on the front wheel, but it's not, I don't know how else to do this, really. Let's do the uh, SAF. There it goes. See the front. See nothing on the front. All the way back down. See that going down there. successfully all right well I had to wrap this up somehow uh, that's how you calibrate the ESA yes it does require a $300 module but I guess if you're gonna spend four grand on shocks then uh, you can afford it I will say if you get um, BMW to install the shocks for you it's kind of one of the nice benefits which is uh, I was quoted by a couple of shops that they would do both shocks for about 350 to 400 bucks um and that's you buying the shocks yourself not them buying them so it's actually not too bad of a deal and that includes the calibration so if you're the kind of person that doesn't want to uh, tear into everything like i've done and uh, also not have to buy a gs 911 then it's certainly the way to go i didn't get a lot of noise in the front i got a little bit of noise but i think most of the esa calibration happens in the rear i'll uh, email beam Rashad to make sure that's correct but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Ride safe.